Families who lost loved ones in the contaminated blood scandal have been at Westminster today to call on the government to honour its promise to pay them compensation. They were supported last night by a vote in Parliament which saw a majority of MPs calling on ministers to speed up the process. The government wants to wait for the outcome of an inquiry before paying out full compensation, but campaigners from the region say the delay is unacceptable. Our political editor, Andrew Sinclair, reports. They've been here before and they say they'll keep coming back. For these families, this is a battle that's been going on for more than 30 years. We've got a lot of work to do for our parents that we lost to bring some credibility back to them. Chris Smith from Bedford was eight years old when his father died in 1986. We've brought out lots of different families, people who have lost their kids, people who have lost parents. They're all here today and we've been right the way around all the government's buildings and we'll continue to do it. Next door at 11 Downing Street, Rosemary Calder from Northampton on the far right, whose son died after being infected with HIV, handed in a letter to the Chancellor. It's been called the biggest treatment disaster in NHS history. More than 3,000 people have died after receiving contaminated blood. An inquiry, which is still underway, called for interim payments of £100,000 to be made to every bereaved family before the end of the year. The government agrees that there is a moral case for compensating victims and their families, and it's already made interim payments to those who are infected and still alive but it wants to wait for the inquiry to finish and issue its final report before setting up a full compensation scheme. The families say that's time-wasting. The nose to the left, 242. <laughs> but last night, things took a big step forward when a Labour amendment was passed calling for the payment process to be speeded up. Everyone in Parliament now recognises that it's time to make amends in a financial sense, for the great wrong that was done to thousands of people and their relatives and families uh, decades ago. The amendment has passed, now it's a matter of law that this arm's length body will be, uh, will be set up. And I think as long as we can maintain that unity of purpose, uh, we can bring justice to people. There is a feeling now that this long-running issue may soon be resolved, bringing long-awaited closure for these and hundreds of other families. Andrew Sinclair, BBC Look East.